Hello everyone, my name is Lucy. For today's video, I'm making Oso Buco. Before I begin, I'm going to be preparing the ingredients. The celery, the carrots, the onion, cutting the spices that I'm going to be adding to the dish, rosemary, thyme, and sage. Osobuco is usually served with a gremolata when you serve. So I'm going to be preparing the gremolata, which is chopped parsley, very thinly, mixed with garlic, and lemon zest. I don't have a lemon, but I do have a lime, so I'm using lime zest for this dish. Mix all together and place it in the refrigerator until it's time to use it, or serving time. And because this dish usually falls apart when you finish cooking, I tie a kitchen twine around the meat and I sprinkle salt and pepper. The traditional recipe of osobuco is made with veal. I have about eight pieces of veal. Here are my carrots, my celery and onions. They all going to cook together. I have about one cup of all purpose flour. I'm going to be dredging the osobuco before I sear them. One big can of diced tomatoes dry white wine, about two cups of chicken stock, olive oil, and my spices, rosemary, thyme, and sage. Two bay leaves and garlic Make sure you check the description below this video for the amount of each ingredient. Also, start your oven at 325 degrees Fahrenheit or 165 degrees Celsius. As I mentioned before, I'm going to be dredging the meat in the all purpose flour. And this flour doesn't contain any salt, any pepper, just plain flour. I'm going to be using the large Dutch oven. I'm going to pour about one third of the olive oil and I'm going to start searing half of the osobucos. I have eight pieces, so I'm going to be searing right now four of them. At this time, the meat doesn't have to be completely cooked, but the outside needs to be or look crispy. Once the first batch of chunks are removed from the Dutch oven, I'm going to pour about one half of a cup of white wine into the Dutch oven and I'm going to scrape the bottom. I'm going to preserve this liquid to be poured back into the meat when it's cooking. So I'm pouring this into a small bowl and then this liquid is going to be poured back into the shanks that we just removed from the Dutch oven. And I'm going to repeat the same process with the second batch of shanks. Now in a clean Dutch oven, I'm going to be cooking the vegetables all together. The onions with the carrots and the celery. I'm going to wait until these vegetables are soft, which will take about eight minutes in high temperature. Sprinkle a little salt, and once the vegetables are soft, then I'm going to go ahead and add the garlic. Let's 
Let the garlic cook with the vegetables for about a minute and then we can start adding the other ingredients. Such as the sage, the rosemary, the bay leaves, and the thyme. I'm adding the wine and the chicken stock or chicken broth, whichever you're using. The diced tomatoes and let it cook for a minute or two. Once the mixture is boiling, we can add the veal chunks into the sauce. Try to cover each piece with the sauce. Then we're going to cover the Dutch oven and we're going to transfer to the oven and let it cook in the oven for two hours. After about two hours, more or less, the meat is ready to be taken out of the Dutch oven. Very gently, I'm going to remove from the Dutch oven and I'm going to start serving. When I serve each chunk, then I remove the kitchen twine. And then I pour some of the sauce over the meat. And I also going to sprinkle some gremolata. Buen provecho and I hope you like this recipe. If you like this video, don't forget to click like, subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching.